Hello everybody. In this video, we're going to integrate 1 over 1 plus sine of x. Our first step is to multiply numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of 1 plus sine of x. So integral 1 over 1 plus sine of x times 1 minus sine of x, 1 minus sine of x. Conjugate of any terms are like this. If you have a plus b, then the conjugate is a minus b. If you have a minus b, then the conjugate is a plus b. So these type of integrals, our attempt is to multiply both top and bottom by the conjugate of the denominator. So we obtain 1 times 1 minus sine of x, which is 1 minus sine of x on top. On the bottom, we obtain 1 minus sine squared of x because this is difference of two squares which is a plus b times a minus b is equal to a squared minus b squared here our a term is 1 b term is sine of x now we can utilize Pythagorean identity here Pythagorean identity is cosine squared of x plus sine squared of x equals to 1. And if you solve for cosine here, 1 minus sine squared of x. So we can rewrite here cosine squared of x. Now let's rewrite the integral. We have 1 minus sine of x on the numerator and cosine squared of x on the denominator. Now we have cosine squared of x as our common denominator. So we can separate the integral. 1 over cosine squared of x minus integral of sine x over cosine squared of x. Now we can use the reciprocal trigonometric identities here. I have detailed video about fundamental trigonometric identities that I am going to paste the link at the description. So 1 over cosine squared of x is equal to secant squared of x. And we can separate this integral again. So we can rewrite it as sine x over cosine x times 1 over cosine x. Sine over cosine is the tangent function, and 1 over cosine is the secant function, using the reciprocal identities. Now we know how to integrate those. Integral of secant squared of x is tangent x. And integral of tangent x, secant x, is just secant x. So this is the answer.